welcome the party at the Gare du Nord. When you see a longish queue nowadays, you may be pretty sure it's for those elusive cigarettes. Yes, fags are short, and a lot of reasons are given for it, such as more smoking and less dollars. Factories are working away with all the tobacco they get, but there simply isn't enough to go round. It's fascinating, and of course extremely tantalising, to watch the manufacture of cigarettes. Machinery, as you see, completes most of the process, and to observe the work going on in the factory creates the impression that cigarettes are turned out so fast there must surely be plenty for all smokers. But this is what the tobacco advisor to the Board of Trade has to say, Sir Alexander Maxwell. Many people have been finding difficulty in getting all the cigarettes that they want. So I first of all want to assure you that the manufacturers are producing all the cigarettes they possibly can with the limited leaf supplies available and are passing these on to the shops. Now don't blame the retailer either. He's doing his level best under most difficult circumstances to see that his supplies are equitably distributed among his customers. I've often been asked about rationing cigarettes. It's been discussed and examined and frankly it's impracticable. We're trying to get and we're getting more tobacco from Empire and other sources. Meanwhile, if all smokers would just smoke one cigarette less in ten, we'd get somewhere. I'm doing it. I know it's difficult. And won't you try to? Yes, let's face it, things are pretty difficult at the moment. If they get any worse, perhaps we shall all have to become pipe smokers. Naturally, if things improve, that'll be splendid, but will the good old days ever return? I wonder. 